we've received many requests from all over the world about our habit. You see the beautiful habit which is used by the heralds of the gospel. And this here we have a habit which is taken from various elements of Christian Catholic tradition. First of all we have the scapula, the brown scapula of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, which I'm sure many of you have heard about. This scapula can be large or small. Most people use it on a small, a small one uh, underneath their shirt, but, uh, but you can use a big one outside. Uh, this is surmounted by a, a hood, and this hood, perhaps we can ask the herald to put the hood on. You see, this hood is a rem reminder of all of the orders of monks of the Middle Ages, because when somebody puts a hood on, he becomes completely separate from the outside world. He's consecrated into himself and can read his prayers, can read his breviary, can read the rose and pray the rosary, and he has concentrated all of the distractions around the world uh, are eliminated because he is concentrated within himself. And this is one of the aspects which people don't know about the hood. Now, uh, the emblem, you see, well, first we can begin with the two uh, symbols of the Pope, which is the tiara and the two keys, the keys of Peter. One actually should be silver because one is gold, one is silver. It is direct, uh, the direct authority of the Pope over the church and the other is the indirect authority over the temporal order and the papal tiara because we are an international society of pontifical right. Therefore, we have the right to use the papal arms. Now, we go on to the, the emblem. You see, this emblem is a symbol, a, a shield, which we have the three elements, which are the central elements of the piety of the heralds, which is devotion to our Lord Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, Our Lady, and the Pope. Here we have the papal tiaras. And the letters EP, that is Heralds of the Gospel in Latin, Evangelii Preconius. The, uh, the cross is a sword cross of St. James. You have probably heard about the pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela in the north of Spain. St. James is the patron saint of Spain. And during the Middle Ages, millions of people went there. But we changed it slightly because the original one is only red, but we changed a bit the colors. The white signifies purity. The red signifies sacrifice, which, is, which is, means the, re, the readiness to accept sacrifice to fulfill what we're doing. And the gold stripe in the middle signifies the nobility of the Catholic faith, the nobility of the Catholic cause, and everything that we defend. The traditions that come to us from the saints, from the popes that have come before us, and this is what we defend, the nobility of the Catholic tradition. Then we have the chain around the waist. This, if you read the book of St. Louis Guignon de Montfort, The Treatise of True Devotion, he says in this book, uh, I recommend the people who make the consecration to Our Lady that they use a chain. This is to symbolize that we are slaves of love, completely free devotion, uh, to Our Lady, to remind this that we are bound to Our Lady. We, are, we are give ourselves freely to Our Lady and we are bound to her. Here we have the rosary, the rosary which is a big rosary, and then we have the miraculous medal of Our Lady, of the miraculous medal of Our Lady of Graces. And finally, then of course we have the white tunic, which varies because the color of the tunics vary uh, according to the individual herald. The younger ones have a beige colored tunic. The, uh, the ones that go from say 20, 20, 20 to 50 have a white tunic. The ones over 50 have a brown tunic, the same color as the scapula. You see, there were, sm there were small adaptations. And finally, the boots. The boots are a symbol that we are ready to walk many miles, many kilometers to serve Our Lady, to serve Our Lord throughout the whole world, wherever we are sent. In summary, you have then a wonderful symbol because these are various symbols. A symbol, a beautiful symbol, is our habit. And uh, this symbol is something which touches people very deeply and very strongly in the center of their souls. Because this was envisaged by our superiors and those who created this habit, uh, that they wanted to give us a, a clothing, a dress, a tunic, a habit, which when somebody sees us from afar, we say immediately, ah, I know them, they're the heralds. This explains what they believe 
This symbolizes what they believe. This is a representation of their individual faith, individual discipline, individual soul, expressed in a symbolic manner in clothing. And the best way to do it is with a, a beautiful habit which symbolizes all that we believe and everything that we love. Thank you very much.